Oh, I'm on. hey, hey, what's going on? I was uh, uh, just admiring the guns there. <laughs> but actually, that is a segue. I did that purposely, maybe. That is a segue uh, um, to what I wanted to talk to you about today. Say, uh, it's just a little bit after lunchtime here. And by the way, I am in my plush mobile office, as you can see. Anyhow, say you just had lunch. Uh, You had a sandwich, a granola bar, maybe some fruit, some water to wash it down. As your body is assimilating that food, as it's breaking it down, a lot of that is being broken down into simple sugars. And we call most of that, we call that glucose. So that glucose, that sugar is running through our system. Now when that happens, it signals a hormone that is secreted from our pancreas called insulin. You've probably heard of insulin. Um, You hear it quite often with diabetics, unfortunately. But that hormone insulin's prime job is to take that sugar and to get it out of our system. And it can do that by driving that sugar, that glucose, into two areas, primarily at first. And we're talking about the liver and your muscles. So insulin drives the sugar into those cells in the liver and the muscles. And that sugar is then converted into glycogen. And glycogen is basically potential energy that you can use at a later time. So the take home message is if you have muscle mass, if you have more muscle mass, then you can think of that muscle mass as almost buckets, as reservoirs, where the insulin can take the sugar, drive it into those big buckets of your muscles, and it can be used again as energy, as glycogen. Now, this is, this is the, the, the scary part of my story. If you don't have that muscle mass where insulin can drive it to, if you don't have that, then insulin will store that sugar as fat. Yes, it will store the sugar as fat. So insulin has two choices. It can either drive the sugar into your liver and into your muscles. Again, those big buckets that can hold the sugar, convert it to glycogen for for later use. Or if that muscle mass is not there, then it will be driven into fat storage. That now will that get you will that get you into strength training or what? And I should say also a lot of it has to do on what you're eating also. So if you're eating a lot of high carbohydrate foods, which will be broken down into more and more sugar, or if you're eating a lot of sugar, a lot of treats, then of course that is going to produce even more sugar. So that is cer- certainly a factor, a prime factor. But on average, uh, insulin wants to take that, oh no, I I think I just had a spittle. I hope that didn't, I hope that, (laughs) I hope that didn't come at you in 3D. Anyhow, try not to do that again, my apologies. Anyhow, um, back to muscles. Muscle mass is such a key in terms of creating sugar into glycogen for energy use. You can even think of it as athletes. You know, you you hear a lot about athletes who have these incredible appetites, yet they do not seem to gain weight. A lot of that is due to, again, not only what they're eating, but also because of their muscle mass. Their high density of muscle mass allows insulin to take those, that sugar that's being produced in their bodies and store it as energy, which of course, as an athlete, they will certainly use. If you don't have that muscle mass, we're going to be putting on more and more weight because that sugar is being stored as fat. So that is my story for you today. So again, if you are not strength training at this point in time, I hope what I have just relayed to you will get you back on track. High intensity strength training is the best. Across the board, the the benefits are multiple. And for this fact alone, if you want the food you're eating to be broken down into sugar and stored as energy, or is it going to be stored as fat? The choice is yours. Again, strength training, high intensity is your ticket, especially, especially if you're trying to lose weight. And just the overall health benefits too are are numerable. You have to be high intensity strength training is, is the 
bar none, is the best form of exercise. So that is all I have for you today. Thank you for tuning in, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Take care.